Hey, how's it going? Um, today's Thursday, I think. If you're new here, there's a sticky comment that has a link to this playlist and a link to my LinkedIn. I was laid off a little over 11 weeks ago. Um, not much to report on the job front yesterday. I did hear back from that place that uh, one of the pre-interview questions they acknowledged receipt of those questions and said, if they're interested in interviewing me, they'll be in touch. It's the best I've had so far, so we'll see. <clears throat> um, as far as mom's cancer, about three quarters of her hair has fallen out now. She sent me a photo yesterday. I don't like seeing my mother like that. Uh, because she keeps losing weight, she looks much older than she is. <clears throat> and then you throw in it. Sorry, my allergies are really bad today. This air quality from the Canadian fires has been horrible here. And I was outside doing some work yesterday. But anyway, you know, I just, I just don't like seeing her that way. And she keeps insisting on showing me photos of her hair loss and stuff. And I'm just like, please don't. Um... Some good news for my friend with the thyroid cancer. That it looked like it had spread again. Or had spread. But it didn't. It has stayed in her thyroid cavity. <clears throat> but there is still some there. But at least it's it's not gone and metastasized or anything. So that's cool. She's pretty uh, happy about that. Hopefully they can knock that out with another round of like the radioactive iodine or something. Um, <clears throat> what else? Oh, so we finally got all the tomatoes in. We have about 110 tomato plants in now. Last year we did 75, and we had enough tomato product for, you know, our yearly usage via canning. And we even had a lot that we just kind of let go. So hopefully, you know, touch wood, we get some good rain, and then... We'll have a, an abundance of tomatoes this year. We also got 30 pumpkin plants in. If only a few of those make it, we'll be very happy. Um, you know, the corn's doing pretty good. The zucchinis look like they're doing pretty good. I just have to stay on top of the squash bugs once we start seeing them. I should actually start looking for them now. I haven't looked since we... Uh, Got those plants in the ground. I'll have to remember to do that today. Because the squash bugs were horrible last year. Like we got like four zucchinis I think because of them. Because they just kept destroying, you know, the plant. One of the beds is kind of cockeyed. Um, so most of them are like this. Or like this. And then that one's like this. So... At the end of the season, I may have to, you know, shimmy it up and then move all the dirt, all the mulch and stuff that's probably in the process of breaking down, and then kind of re-level it and fill it back up. Might be an interesting video, but probably won't be interesting, or probably won't be fun to do. Um, yeah, since today's Thursday, that means I only have, what, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday... Really two more days with my wife before she's gone for 13 days. So there's that. Um, yeah, that's about it. <clears throat> oh. I used my EcoFlow. The, I, I forget what the new one's called. But I used it to run my cheap little $80 electric tiller yesterday. Use 9% of the battery to do 5 rows for the pumpkins. And uh, it worked out very nice. I was only using, let's see, it was 10 amps at 120 volts. So I was only using, I think, about a third of the output that it can do. Or close to that. So that was nice. Um, good first use for it. That's kind of one of the reasons I bought it, too. It's because... We, we don't have electrical outlets on the exterior of the house. The best we have is in the garage. So no matter what, you're already dealing with like 15 feet of garage or 8 feet of garage, depending on which way you exit the garage. 
And we've got over half an acre, so yeah, if I want to use my electric tiller, I'm extremely limited where I could use it with, with just a, a wall outlet. Same with like the reciprocating saw, you know, sometimes it's nice for cutting the um, bushes and stuff that have grown up in the fence before we bought the property. Otherwise you gotta sit out there with like a, a little hand saw or something. It gets kind of a pain. So that's cool. And uh, I knew it would run the sump and the fridge and the freezer because the smaller version does fine. But yeah, that was exciting. I'll have to think of some other things to test it with and do a video. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get my day going here. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope uh, if you're going through something that, that you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. If you're looking for work, hang in there. Uh, wish me luck. I think it's day 79 now. Who knows when I'm going to find a job. I, I just keep thinking I'm going to end up at like Walmart or McDonald's or something. I know those are, are valid jobs and lots of people rely on those jobs. But it's such a downgrade. And I just, I know I'll be miserable. And I hope I find something. Anyway, I better go look for jobs. I'll see you guys tomorrow.